Brothers and sisters, Miller, how you doing? This is Brother Wisdom. Um, I want to talk to you guys about activating your melanin, activating your consciousness. It's important that you understand who you are. Um, and you must understand that there are forces that fight against us on a daily basis to make sure that we do not tap into this inner consciousness. We have so many. We even have our own fighting against us because um hey it's this is this is their choice everyone has a choice but like i said cosmos the cosmos is the is 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 that 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 separating energy that provides the fate of everyone who makes the choices that they make you know so i mean you can you know stay with the illusion or you can stay with uh, or you can go with uh, pure consciousness with this, everything is within. Now, if you can remember the words that were spoken in that book, which was stolen from Thoth, which was stolen from Alchemician records, all right? Because if you go into the etymology of Bible, the etymology of Bible, uh, basically it says papers or scrolls that were taken from Egypt and imported into Greece. So basically, after our planet was invaded and the, and the battle uh, uh, ensued, uh, documents of things that we did and said were taken from place. And, and this is where they set up everything. They set up everything uh, across seas so that uh, we, the Atlanteans here, w uh, would have uh, limited access to get over there. All right. You see the gulf between us, that gulf. But we can do everything that we can do uh, many other things in spirit until we tap into this uh, pure consciousness. And this takes us to uh, a, a, a reality of, of who we are and the power that we possess. OK, tapping into your um, melanin or activating your melanin is, is highly important. Um, this all begins with a thought. Remember, you know, we said the thoughts, the thoughts. Uh, your thoughts travel 477 trillion miles per second. Okay, this is your thoughts travel at a hyper, hyper, hyper um, um, rate that cannot even be calculated. All right. So the whole the whole part of your thought is is you going into that era of pure knowledge and consciousness. All right. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to um, think yourself to be great, right? You think yourself to be great. So the whole part is your thoughts are, you should, you should have the thought of, uh, or the best thought that you can have for yourself is I'm an advanced being. All right. I am an advanced being. I am a, and I'm, I am a supreme being. I'm an advanced being just to think that you're an Atlantean or a Sumerian. All right. Just to think that you're a Lumerian, you know, is thinking on a high level because these this is who we are now. And our, and our ancient ancestors were advanced beings. We thought on an advanced level. Our bodies were advanced. You know, we could literally lift off the ground and fly. Just that's that's an that's an advancement of a body. Be we being organic machines. All right. We being able to control nature. All right. Just by you know tapping into nature and it doesn't take long you know and you hitting that you know and making the energy uh, uh, uh move around you all right that's an advanced level of thinking not to think that you are human you have to remember these orcs what they did they started this campaign and said there's only one race there's the human race why would they want us to think human why would they want us to think be human because human is a hybrid all right when you look up the word hue man hue man hue uh resembles uh uh allah all right allah is hue all right man so all this is this is this is not this is something that is not nature all right this is not nature this is something that's in the box all right so you saying uh allah when they say allah they're saying god all right so these these are the words that they use to tell us okay you are uh um a being of allah you are allah you are god man or if you can remember a video before i talked about how we are not gods and goddesses because gods have limitations we are nature 
we have no limitations whatsoever so to think you nature is an advanced being all right look at nature herself nature herself she can create energy electricity she can create fire, water wind okay she can make the earth move nature has been known there, there's been uh, uh, nature has been known to create new lands in the middle of a land create new lands in the middle of an ocean that's an advance that's that's uh, 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 something that's highly advanced that mankind has nothing uh, 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 um, in part of okay so we must understand that uh, we are advanced beings and this is how you tap into that inner consciousness this is your christ consciousness okay so when you feel when you see yourself as an advanced being now just by you thinking i am an advanced being you could feel your all your chakras starting to move your body will start getting hot why because now you 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 beginning to think on a higher level i'm an advanced being i am a being i am a being of supreme powers i have no limitations all right now you know it this is what this is what activates your melanin all right and understand your melanin all right remember your melanin is is a a, a gift given to you by the cosmos it's an extra extension of the cosmos we dark matter beings pulling in dark energy all right so just by you thinking that way now your melanin is literally becoming activated you create a a, a an electromagnetic field around yourself all right you create an electromagnetic field around yourself which is a force field which means that nothing on the outside all right whether it's an illusion you know whether it's is uh is 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 a is a, is a physical or a weapon can touch you or penetrate you because you say i you know within yourself that you're an advanced being and this electromagnetic energy literally pushes away everything that comes against you to fight all right so this is this is the the, the point that we have to understand now we are the christ christ is not a being coming from the sky all right this is the christ energy so when you feel your when you see yourself as an advanced being all right that christ energy that's within you you feel it you'll feel it here and then it'll come all over your body and this is the return of the christ this is the return of the heru heru is nothing but hero all right so what what these orc beings did they created heroes on uh on the movie screen but they put their faces on it and they showed you everything that you can do you can fly you can make energy come from your body you can uh, uh move the ground you know they telling you everything that you can do but then they want you to think that you are human they want you to think that you are one of them so when they when they came with that with that program um there's only one race the human race that was a way for us to dumb down ourselves to their level to say that we're mere humans to say that you're a human is, is equivalent to saying that you're a dog I mean, this is it's true. So, in 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 all essence, it's it's important that we elevate ourselves through your thoughts, through your actions. That's why you do your meditation. That's why you do your rituals. That's why you do your chants. That's why you do your frequencies. You do you do all these things. You do your tai chi. You do your yoga. You know, whatever the whatever your exercises that builds up your power. But then you have to have that thought. I am an advanced being. Now, by you thinking I'm an advanced being, now you think on a higher level because now it's like, how can I make this body more powerful than it was yesterday? Now you're thinking. And what did our ancestors do? Our ancestors wore different types of, uh, of, of, of clothing that was full of gold and silver and copper and rhodium and titanium. You know, look at the silver surfer. That was a brother that was dressed in pure silver. All right. So we have to understand that all of our answers are like right there in, in your in your Marvel comics in the uh, in the cartoon era is everything that 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 pertains to us is right here in front of us. It's important that we understand who we are. All right. This is when you go deep within yourself. 
all right there's a there's a, a scripture in the bible that says uh if your eye is single then your body is full of light but if your eye is whole then your body is full of darkness and you have to understand that that light your eye that single eye your third eye your third eye uh, 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 taps into that consciousness all right so that consciousness is that Christ consciousness which, which brings enlightenment your body is full of enlightenment but if your third eye is closed and you follow it after the illusions that society which is mankind provided then your eye is full of darkness which means your third eye is closed it's whole it's closed see if it's if it's if it's whole if it's whole it's like this if it's single it's like that you see the difference so if your third eye is open, then you're full of enlightenment. But if your third eye is closed, then you're full of darkness, which means that you cannot see the reality of everything. So basically what you're doing is, 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 is you're breaking out of this box, the church, the money, the school, the, the work, the, the, the TV, the everything that they created. You're, you're breaking out of that box, okay? and you're you're breaking through those walls and then you get on the other side of the walls and you realize there's a whole world outside of the world that they created for you to see now you can tap into your full potential in that whole world that they created that, that i'm sorry in that whole world that's outside of what they created so now when they come to pursue you to try to get you back in you have potential you have full power of all of the elements around you so now you no longer have this dome that 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 you're sitting in in a, in a box where you're powerless and you you got to obey their rules no you're in a place where now you say i am enlightened and this belongs to me now you can command you can make make commands and the lightning will come down and protect you and the land will open up and protect you roots will come from the ground and grab your enemies and choke them out all right the fire will come, the wind, the water, you know, the different frequencies, the laser energy. I mean, the, the unlimited, unlimited, the psychic uh, 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 energy will flow in you. So it's, it's highly important that you learn how to tap into this internal, eternal, external energy that's all around you. OK, so um, just wanted to do this quick video with you guys tapping into your uh, inner self and activating your melanin, activating your spirit man, activating that energy because we are the Christ. Our return is the Christ. All right. Now, this is where it talks about us in this Bible here, the return of the Christ, because they knew at some point in time, the Christ energy would return to us. People of melanin. Okay. So highly important, highly important. So um, I catch you on the next go around. Oh, yeah. And support uh, the sister, uh, Shonda Mary Magdalene. Support the sister. She's showing me a whole lot of love. Go to her YouTube page. Show a lot of love, all right? She's showing me a whole lot of love. So, you know, hey, I got to give it back to you. I love you, sister. But um, uh, just let's let's uh, think on a higher level. A higher level of thinking. All right, my people? All power to the multi-shocker people. Melanie, peace to you all.